It looks like the Russian invasion is ramping up with uh, Russia now attacking U.S. drones over the Black Sea. Uh, I'm curious if this means that the U.S. will actually go into actual battle with Russia. Now to our breaking news, a Russian jet has forced down a U.S. drone over the Black Sea after damaging its propeller. CNN's Oren Lieberman is at the Pentagon gathering details on this. Oren, tell us what we're learning about this. Brianna, this played out early this morning over international waters of the Black Sea, according to U.S. Air Force Europe. An MQ-9 Reaper drone, a U.S. Air Force surveillance drone or spy drone, was flying over the Black Sea when, according to the Air Force, two Russian fighter jets conducted what they're calling an unsafe and unprofessional interception. That's just the beginning of it. According to the Air Force, the two Russian Su-27 flanker fighter jets repeatedly flew in front of the MQ-9 Reaper drone, apparently in an attempt to disrupt or disturb its flight path. Pattern, even dumping fuel in front of that U.S. Reaper drone. And then, according to the Air Force, one of those uh, Su-27 fighter jets damaged the propeller of the Reaper drone, forcing it down. The propeller on a Reaper is behind it, so somehow that Russian fighter jet managed to damage the propeller, forcing the U.S. to bring down the drone in international waters. Of course, this is a very severe incident, and U.S. Air Force Europe issued a statement essentially, uh, essentially referencing how severely they view this. Let me read you a part of this. This incident demonstrates a lack of competence in addition to being unsafe and unprofessional. These aggressive actions by Russian aircrew are dangerous and could lead to miscalculation and unintended escalation. According I mean, it's basically a declaration of war by Russia by attacking our stuff when we're in an area where we're allowed to be. According to the National Security Council, President Joe Biden was briefed on the incident earlier this morning by National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan. So he was given that information about how this played out earlier today. According to the NSC, there have been other interceptions uh, between Russian and U.S. aircraft, but none as, as severe or as potentially escalatory as this where we see an actual collision in midair between a Russian fighter jet and a U.S. drone that forced down the U.S. drone. Of course, the key question now, Brianna, how does the U.S. respond? How severely do they view this and how deliberately do they view this? Certainly the statement from U.S. Air Force seems to say that the Russians were very deliberate in flying in front of the drone, dumping fuel in front of the drone, and then damaging the propeller, forcing it down eventually in the Black Sea. So now we'll wait to see how the U.S. chooses to respond to this incident. We have also reached out to the Russian Ministry of Defense defense for comment. Brianna. And Oren, just to be clear, of course, the Ukrainian port city of Odessa there on the Black Sea, we don't know specifically where uh, this happened. It's our understanding, and it's worth noting that we have been able to track the flights of many Reaper drones over the Black Sea over the course of the war and before. And they essentially fly an almost circular pattern, either in the western part of the Black Sea there, west of Crimea or southwest of Crimea. We don't know exactly where this happened, but we have seen Reaper drones flying almost on a daily basis since the beginning of the war and even earlier than that. We know Russian jets have flown as well. Of course, what's different here is the interaction, frankly, the collision between these jets. Uh, U.S. Air Force says it happened in international waters where both the U.S. and the Russians are absolutely entitled to fly under international law, but not like this. Brianna. Certainly not. All right, Oren Lieberman, live for us at the Pentagon. Thank you.